Hi everyone! So I have a really um, kind of nice, pretty, shimmery but subtle kind of makeup look for you today. You can definitely tell I'm wearing makeup, but it's not like over the top, overly done. So if you want to see how to get this really pretty look, then just keep on watching. Starting off with my Essence eyeshadow base in I Heart Stage, and just applying a bit of that all over the lid, and then of course using my finger just to blend that in. You could use a brush if you wanted, but I think um, using your finger just works a lot nicer just to really smooth out and you can really feel the base. So next we're going to take our MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle, and we're just going to take a small shadow brush and pick up quite a bit of that, and you're just going to run that all over just on the lid. Make sure it's packed on really well. We're going to also run that on our brow highlight as well. So to give a little bit of smokiness to the crease, we're taking Tease from the Naked 2 palette and with a nice kind of fluffy blending brush and running that into the crease only. You try to do a lot of the um, defining on the outer corner and then sweeping inwards. Now we're going to line our eyes with a Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner, and this is in the shade Brown. I'm just taking a really nice, thin uh, eyeliner brush and applying that across the entire lid. Just really nice, small, even strokes. Just helps to apply nice. And just do a little bit of winging out in the corner. To get a really nice matte finish to our face, I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the shade Buff, and just the same as normal, just blending that all over the face with our Kabuki style brush. I figured you guys have seen this enough that I figured I'd speed that up so you didn't have to watch the entire thing. Even though you're watching the entire thing, it's fast, so it's just not as bad to have to watch the whole thing. So concealing those under eye circles, I'm going to use my MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NW20 and just applying that with my finger because again I just feel like using your finger you can just really smooth out um, that cream product and it also melts with your skin, your body temperature nicely so it blends e nicely as well. So using my Master Shape Pencil by Maybelline, I'm going to use the shade Auburn and run that all through my brows, filling in all the little tiny little gaps here and there. And don't forget to brush those through as well. To give a little bit of glow to the skin, I'm going to use my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sundance with a nice big fluffy brush. And just placing that kind of, not doing a really solid contour, but just contouring a little bit on more on the upper cheekbone area. Using my Maybelline Smart Shade Blush, and this is in pink, just going to place a little bit of that onto the cheeks, and then using my fingers, just blending out. Using your fingers for makeup actually is really great, and like I was saying before, um, with your body heat, it's really good to use cream and liquid products to really blend them out smoothly, and you just get a really nice, like, flush, natural kind of look as well when you use your fingers. So I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara, and just apply really good thick coats of that to your lashes as well. This mascara is actually not too bad. It does um, add quite a bit of volume to your, your uh, lashes as well. Don't forget those bottom ones as well. And to brighten up the inner eye, we're going to use our Tarte Emphasize Eye Brightener and just run that along your lower line or your lower waterline. To get the perfect pout, we are going to use our Maybelline Lip Stain, and this is in Feelin' Rosy. And because it's a stain, you can apply as many coats of this to your lips as you want. Um, I like to still keep it pretty opaque, so maybe no more than about two coats or so to the lips. To give a little bit of moisture and shine to the lips, I'm going to use my um, Sugar Balm in the shade Rose. So it's got a nice little bit of a red um, tinge or color to the uh, lip. So that completes the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye!